Before we bring to you the next goodwill message, my colleague here, Miro Ademu, would just want to make some observations. Our man of the moment, His Excellency, Malan Nasr Ahmed Erufai, Governor of Kaduna State, all other excellencies present here, and all our traditional rulers present here, our existing investors, our prospective investors, development partners, members of the diplomatic corps, all other distinguished guests, please I want to quickly on national te television here make a quick uh, amendment. I actually said that Her Excellency, the, our own Deputy Governor-elect, happens to be the first from Northern Nigeria. I think I am wrong, I know I am wrong rather. The first was Her Excellency Mrs. Pauline Talon of Plateau State. But I insist, Her Excellency, Dr. Hadiza Sabwa Balarabe happens to be the first Hausa Muslim Northern Deputy Governor-elect. <laughs> we thank her for that, okay? She is a woman that is professional in her calling. She's outstanding, okay? Okay, she Okay, I'm told she's not Hausa, okay? She is the first person from Kaduna, the first woman from Kaduna State, Southern Kaduna, to become the Deputy Governor of Kaduna State. Please, can we give her a big round of applause? Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much, Your Excellencies. At this point in time, would want Her Excellency the Deputy Governor-elect and all other women in His Excellency's cabinet in this government to please come up. We have the Head of Service is a female, the uh, Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice is a female, we have the Commissioner for Works is a female, we have Commissioner for Women Affairs is a female, the Executive Secretary of Kadipa is a female. I've been asked to call the women forward, please. The Head of Service is the female. Please, can we quickly come out, please? The women, let's appreciate you and then in turn thank Marlon for making the women outstanding. Please come off stage. Come off stage. Let Her Excellency the Deputy Governor elect. Okay? We have our other commissioners. Okay? You see them? You see them? It is only Malam's government that you see such. Okay? Giving us more than the 35% affirmative action. We are looking forward to 50, Mala. We just have a little, a little bit to get to that 50. Okay? The GM of Kasubja, female. Here they are, all of them. Some of them are outside doing something, but these are our beautiful female team supporting Malam in all these sectors and all these ramifications. And this is not possible except with the support of his two wives. Your Excellencies, Hajia Architect, Hadiza Esme Enrufai, can you join us here? And also, Your Excellency, Hajia Ummi Garba Enrufai, please can you join us here? When you have this kind of team, you can go to bed and sleep. And it is only Malan that can make this possible. Very courageous, very focused, and of course, very passionate about women because he has very strong belief in the women folks. Thank you very much. Okay? These are our I minions. Mean, big round of applause to them, please. And thank you to His Excellency, the man of the moment, our governor of the state, Malan Nasru Ahmed Erufai, for being who you are to us women. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, 
Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we're still on with the program, and this time I'd like to bring in um, another guest who will take his goodwill message, and this time it's inviting the Indian High Commissioner to Nigeria, His Excellency Ate Taku, the Indian High Commissioner to Nigeria. We'll be brief about it, and um, so we can move on to the next item. Your Excellency, Mr. Nasir Ahmed Al Rufai, Honorable Governor of Kaduna, all protocol observed. I will keep myself very brief. At the outset, let me bring to you greetings from the Government of India, from 1.3 billion people of India, with whom Nigeria shares a time tested very old relationship starting with teachers and doctors to thousands of professionals working in Nigeria today. A very few pertinent points to this Card Invest event. Let me reiterate that India is among the largest investors in Nigeria today. If we put together Indian or Indian owned investments, we exceed US dollar 10 billion. In the last few years, Excellency, from the private sector, and I'm talking of new Indian investments, India has brought in nearly 350 million US dollars, creating 7,872 jobs all across Nigeria. Indian investments have been in sectors from chemicals, non-automotive transport, OEMs, business services, communications, and automotive OEMs. A central point that allow me to make from this podium today is that, Excellency, when you are looking for any affordable solution, and India and Nigeria are very similar in their challenges in many ways in the sizes that they face uh, to feed and look after our large populations. If you are looking for affordable health care, if you are looking for affordable housing, if you are looking for affordable education, you are looking for affordable agriculture, you are looking for affordable communications, affordable electricity, you look at India. And I would say that in, at, uh, at this Card Invest event, that one must never forget that if an investor brings in billions of dollars, he brings in with a condition that he will take back more than what he brought in. And so when affordability in this whole, um, uh, in this whole uh, matrix is very important, so that you go for low contract value and affordable solutions which suit Nigeria. And this is where I think India and Nigeria can do, have done and will do a lot together. Uh, I am happy to say that India has recently approved a US dollar 100 million line of credit for the rural broadband network uh, of, uh, of Nigeria. And we have also started with the, in addition to our uh, naval cooperation, uh, looking at a shipbuilding and design center in Nigeria led by the Indian Navy, which will be another 250 million US dollar. Let me also say that in addition to investments outright, we must also not forget about models which are win-win collaboration for both sides. For example, in other countries where I have served like Vietnam and Mauritius, we've had Indian management companies looking after local hospitals. Now this is a this is a this is a model in which one need not bring in or set up an entire hospital. The ownership remains with the local um, local partners, but Indian expertise comes in. So, for example, be it Apollo or uh, Fortis in the education sector, be it Amiti or Manipal, there are all kinds of models available, which lower investment value, but greater and more effective delivery of services. 
in the end, I am happy to say that trade between India and Nigeria has grown substantially. From US dollar 9.5 billion in 2017, we reached more than US dollar 12 billion in 2018. And trade and investment go hand in hand. We are very cognizant of the import substitution and make in Nigeria initiative of the government of Nigeria. We are very happy to see Indian companies, including the Skipper Group, involved in Kaduna with major projects. Uh, let me assure you, Your Excellency, that with your uh, dynamic and wise leadership, we in India are definitely going to look more uh, in a, in, with greater focus towards Nigeria. We are already doing so. We cannot forget that India is Nigeria's largest trading partner and Nigeria is India's largest trade and investment partner in Africa. So with such dynamic leadership, Your Excellency personally showing the way forward, I am confident that India and Nigeria will collaborate even more in future. Let me wish you all a very fruitful deliberation and a very successful conference. Thank you. On our recognition list this morning, we also have with us uh, the representative of the Governor of Kasuna State, Alaji Ibrahim Chukuruji Kamshi. Thank you for being part of it this morning. I also have with me Professor Suleiman Bugoro, E.D. Tetfond, Professor Abakasani Sambu. We also have uh, A. Vice Marshal Dabu, retired, and uh, Mohamed Sani Sidi, former DG of NEMA. I also like to bring at this moment Professor Omar Garbat Ambata, the Vice Chairman of NCC, to give us a short goodwill message. The uh, elected and re-elected executive governor of uh, Kaduna State, His Excellency Malam Nasri al -Rufai. I would like to respectfully observe the remaining established protocol. Your Excellency, my good friend Mr. Jimmy Lowell did one decent thing by alerting me that I will be given you know, a goodwill message. Um, and uh, I was thinking I could...